Hello Gemini, hope you're good. This is your general weekly reading for the period of 9th to the 15th of April 2019. If this does not resonate with you, please check your moon or rising. Alright Gemini, let's get started and let's see what's coming towards you in this week. Alright. Alright Gemini, let's see. What does Spirit wants to tell Geminis for this week? Okay, this is... No! Alright. Gemini, what do we have between the 9th to the 15th? Gemini, again. This has been happening with me in all the reads. The cards have been jumping out like crazy. And, uh, you know, I was just shared this experience in the Taurus video, I think, where, you know, I have this epiphany in the morning that, you know, I need to do these readings and you won't believe I have done all these readings in one sitting. I didn't get up. I didn't go. For, I didn't sip a, even a drop of water. Swear on Mary. I didn't. I couldn't. I just felt, no, the message needs to go. And it was like download after download after download. And the cards, they just kept popping out. They just jumped here and there. I mean, if you can, watch the Virgo video, watch the Sag, watch, uh, I think a couple of more got such jumpers. It's been very less, uh, so, <coughs> you know, signs where there was not a jumper. But I think there are a lot of messages that have been blocked for so long and that needs to come out. So yeah, the cards are having fun with me. And you know, you won't believe what happened. I mean, when I was doing the readings, you know, the only one left was you, Gemini. And I was just going through my mind that, okay, I did this, I did that, I did that. And I was shuffling because after every read, here you go again, after every read, I shuffle. And you, you won't believe what just popped out. A card slipped down and it was reversed and it was uh, the lovers. And I was like, yeah, universe, I know the lovers is Gemini and Gemini is pending. I mean, that was so funny. Sometimes my universe plays with me. My spirits, they have fun with me. <laughs> Here again. Yeah, today they are in the fun mood and they want me to slug. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm enjoying. <laughs> All right, Gemini. Here you go. Let's see. I'm doing a three card spread. Six from the tarot. Two from the oracle messages for you. And one from your animal spirit. All right. So let's see, Gemini, what oracle advises you to do. What does Oracle advise you to do for Gemini? All right, no jumper, so I'll take this, and maybe I'll take this, whatever I feel like. All right, now your animal spirit. Let I didn't even start shuffling, so I'm sorry. I will not take that. <laughs> Spirit, show me one card if you have to jump, else let me select a card. Here you go. Spirit has to talk to Gemini. What Gemini? I think you are cutting communication with somebody. Or you are dealing with a Sag, Virgo or Aries maybe. Alright, let's see. Let's get started. Gemini, the advice is from the Oracle. Detox. Alright. And put others first. Okay. Three of swords in reverse in your past. And the hangman. Very nice. Four of cups. This card has been popping up, I think, in almost all the, all the recordings. All right. And the king of wands. Very nice. Ten of wands in reverse. Beautiful. And the two of swords. All right, Gemini. Firstly, the oracle or spirit is telling you, sometimes it's, you know, you have to see the other's perspective. You know, sometimes you have to 
release your wishes and concentrate on others sometimes it's you have to get out of your ego and think about others so you have to put the needs of others first and you need to detox detox does not always mean that you go for this we jump uh, shake or uh, juice but it means that you need to cleanse cleanse all the negativity inside you cleanse all the negativity in of your ego because your ego can fill you with fear very nice law of attraction card it can fill you with fear anxiety um, overthinking past thoughts past experiences subconscious maybe it's time you need to go for some subconscious programming and put others first it's not always about you sometimes you go through bad experiences not because of you because of others sometimes something bad happens to you because somebody else needed something better right so all right in the past i see you were hurt you were heartbroken but you are coming out of it you have just come out of a heartbreak you have been deeply you had been deeply hurt but now you are no longer in that energy this is kind of your energy this is air energy and your reading starts with the air ends with the air but i see wands here so maybe you are dealing and cups in balance so maybe you are dealing with a water sign air sign or fire sign could be any sign other than pentacles i mean uh, earth sign everybody is here but uh, yeah that's that's it so you are coming out of the three of swords energy you are out of it you are uh, you know though you might find the progress a bit slow and there are some delays but uh, you know are you looking at maybe you need to change your perspective the way you are looking at things and here comes the hangman making you change your perspective maybe you were hurt or you you were badly hurt in the past but you have changed your perspective now you have changed the way you look at things because you have taken control of your heart now you have taken control of your emotions your mind and you have changed your perspective you are looking at things from a much more clearer way because you changed the way you used to look at things you know and that's maybe that is what spirit is telling you you need to detox you need to change your perspective let go of all these old thoughts past thoughts and all that fear you need to go out of that you maybe you were heartbroken because that person had to go somewhere else maybe was you were just a karmic lesson for them so you have learned your lesson you have moved on you have changed your perspective now you see why those people had to go or had to leave you maybe you are seeing that you know sometimes our ego does not allow us but sometimes it's necessary to understand that things are sometimes things happen with us because of somebody else or somebody else needs it let's put it this way somebody else needs it so sometimes we have to let go so that the others can have it all right and then i see you in the current situation with the four of cups that means you are taking a step back and looking at matters from a different perspective the energy of the hangman continues you now you are not jumping into things but rather you are looking at things from a different perspective you might notice that your heart has been ruling your head so now you want to think with your head and not your heart it was your heart which you know steered you to wherever and you got hurt but you came out of it you've healed yourself you've changed your perspective at the ways you look at things and now you are simply not interested you are not interested you are more interested you have, you have step, taken a step back and looking at matters very carefully before you go ahead and along with it i see the king of wands again a fire energy passion wands is all about passions so a king of wands is a person who would uh, you know who is successful in navigating an extremely complex situation so maybe this was a complex situation for you and you change your perspective and you realize that you have been taking emotional decisions without thinking you putting much thoughts to it so now you are navigating things your way but you are uh, 
uh, you know you have some long range of goals but you are not the knight you are the king you are uh, you know you are very uh, mental kind of energy you have a lot of energy in you but you know which direction to go now and in the future I see you putting down your burdens letting go of those burdens that kept you uh, that made you feel heavy you know you're letting go yeah same as detox you're, you're just moving them out from whatever heavy was there you know your your energy needs to be focused otherwise you'll waste it because you have a lot of energy right now because you've just put down these wands so you have nothing you feel light so now be sure that you have an objective in mind and you're just not you know here and there and everywhere you're the king of wands you should know where to steer your life now because you have put down your wands so you're light so now your energy should go into something constructive and with it is the two of swords again a mind over heart decision you are at a crossroad where you need to decide with your mind because your tensions are coming down whatever tensions and things that have been keeping you uh, you know giving you sleepless nights they are coming out so you need to slow down relax and now you you know uh, but then at the same time decide on which way you want to go because you are light your energy can be anywhere so high likely that you will you know spread yourself too thin I can do this I can do that oh I can do this too oh I'm doing this so don't spread your energy too thin focus focus on one thing decide mm -hmm with your eyes closed don't look at people look at the situations with your mind you know this girl or this lady has her eyes closed because if she sees things then she'll start thinking from the heart which led you to a heartbreak last time so now she's seeing things with her eyes closed she's more like the justice that Libra you know that justice sign where the eyes are closed it's only about facts you are at a crossroad, you are seeing the facts, it's like, should I go this side or should I go now? If I'm, I have swords, so if I'm going this side, I'm going to cut this side off. And if I'm choosing this end, then I'm going to cut this end off. So that's the kind of energy you have because you are the king of wands. You have the passion, but you have realized that you have been doing things very emotionally. Now you need to steer your life to something better. You have let go of all those, you have detoxed. Or the spirit is telling you if you haven't then you should and put the needs of others maybe look at look at things step into other people's shoes and see why they did and what they did you will feel lighter it will be easier for you to put down the burdens and then decide with your mind all right and what do we have as your animal spirit the ladybug you know what is a ladybug a ladybug is a animal or an insect which visualizes its goals you know and you know only things of its wishes because we wish on ladybugs you know and uh, it's always happy because for happiness and for wishes it's always the ladybug so very nice Gemini very synchronized ladybug what does it say my imagination is the key to my success I envision my future and joyfully participate as it unfolds. I am so incredibly lucky. I have many blessings in my life. Abundance and prosperity are constantly flowing in my life. Beautiful law of attraction affirmations, uh, Gemini. Yeah, this ladybug with this detox and put others first along with the king of wands and this ten of wands in reverse and this makes so much of sense makes so much of synchronized sense you have been hurt in the past you're out you have detoxed you're out of this you have changed your perspective and then you realize you have been looking at things you know from an emotional point of view and never putting your mind into it but now you are ready you want to navigate towards success so for that you have because you have changed your perspective you have put others first you have seen why things happen how it happened and now 
you are confident on yourself you have put your burdens down they no longer disturb you but now because you are free you are full of energy so you need to focus so your eyes need to be closed and you need to focus on what you want so that's what the ladybug is telling you envision your future see what you want and joyfully participate in it feel lucky you have blessings in your life don't don't think about this broken heart think about the perspective you change your perspective now you know that those were blessings in disguise so very good read gemini very positive so well gemini that's all i have for you this week if this resonated with you please like share and subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate that if you want a private reading please connect with me on discord the links are in the description below and thank you for being here. Stay positive and I'll see you next time.